leaving Walmart, Sholo, Arizona, 9.39 a.m. August the 7th, 2024, if I can get out of here, and away we go. I had to watch the parade. But yeah, we're going to go a different way going back. I'm not sure. I think it's, I think I got to go up here and go left. But this is a busy town. I think it's around 18 or 20,000 people here. And they're all at Walmart. But I've got my 12-volt uh, refrigerator on for my stuff that needs refrigeration, which would include my blueberries and yogurt. now to see you know this is a pretty busy thing here I, do, I don't like traffic take I, the next left onto Arizona 260 East West White Mountain Boulevard I'm trying to baby just hang with me yeah this is a busy little town And I know that you people that live in big cities, this is the way you live. You know, traffic, traffic, traffic. You can't, you can't get out of it. But I'm glad I got my 12 volt refrigerator with me. And I'm glad I got it on because apparently it's gonna be a while before I even get out of here. Well, maybe not after all, whoops. It's, it's a long way across here, you know what I mean? And everybody is going faster than 20 miles an hour, I can assure you. And uh, do they let Continue on Arizona 260 East for 50 miles. Okay, yeah, we're good here now. We're on the way out. Of course, we've got the sun, the phone right in the sun. And maybe we'll turn out of it up here. Does it, well, let's run this red light, Rusty. That's a good thing to do. And now it's already fuzzed up, but we'll fix that right there, right? Could do it. Yeah, it looks better. So anyway, we are uh, heading back to, actually this brings us into Eager, Arizona, which is right next to Springerville, Arizona. It's about a, this way, a full hour drive the other way on Highway 60, uh, you could make it 50 minutes or 45 minutes, but I'm not in a hurry. And, and I, I've got the uh, video on 0.7x. Why? Well, it, won't, it doesn't fuzz up that way. And you still get to see the view, uh, including the dashboard of my vehicle, which I think is very exciting. But I didn't realize Sholo, Arizona was this big. I didn't. And gasoline is more expensive here than it is in Springerville and Eager, Arizona. So, instead of getting gasoline like I thought I would, I didn't. Okay, where are we at here? Pine Top Lakeside City Limits. So we got another city right here next door how about that pine top yeah this is it's in the forest though well i guess yeah this is that i can't remember the name of it it's not the apache oh it's sit graves sit graves national forest pine top lakeside How long will my phone work in the direct sunlight doing a video? Not too damn long. Not too long. So let's do something here, Rusty. Let's uh, let's take it out and we'll hold it. You wanna see the holder? <laughs> There's the holder, how about that? Yeah, I think I can do this. Well, I stripped the threads on this holder, uh, trying to make it perfect. 
And now I can't put it down because I stripped. There I got it. Let's get this up here. Uh, let me just get my arm in a position here. But yeah, this is again, Cholo, Arizona, and I won't let this video go too long. Why? Well, because uh, I'm holding it. He's not stopping. Yeah, he is too. Well, I, if you can go through on yellow, can't you? I did. And I don't see any red lights behind me. But anyway, we're, we're cruising. I heard a horn honk. Oh, they're honking to that other guy. There's Elkhorn RV Park right there. Well, can't you see it? But they're pretty well packed in there. I would imagine this is a pretty popular area. The temperature right now shows to be 82 degrees at uh, 9.44 a.m. Arizona time. Arizona does not do the uh, spring forward and fall back stuff. But yeah, we'll let this go for a few minutes here. Give you an idea of what the outskirts of Sholo, Arizona look like. And then I'll end this video because I got I did two coming, but I was able to use the holder because the phone wasn't in the direct sunlight. It's a pretty drive. If you like to look at the dashboard of my car. For those of you that haven't been to Sholo, Arizona, well, you're in it now. There's, it's called the play. It says RV space is three ninety five a month, which is pretty good. You pay the electricity, makes it an even five hundred or close. I didn't realize, I just, I think I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. I didn't realize that Sholo, Arizona was this large a community. I did not. And this side over here, this would be going south, I think. Uh, this is in the forest. The other side, the north side, is not, or doesn't appear to be. What industry is there in Sholo, Arizona to support this number of people? I would imagine a lot of it is tourism. We'll let this go till we get out of the edge of town here, and then I'll... Uh, in the video and if something comes up that I think you might be interested in seeing then I will uh, start another video but we're getting to the outskirts here and since the light hadn't turned red yet I'm gonna wait till it does that's Porter Mountain Road I haven't heard a word out of Miss Google I guess I'm on the right highway Yeah, if we keep turning around here, we'll get out of the sun, but, but we just make a big loop. Let me get over in this another lane here. Yeah, gasoline, that, there's 349 and then 339 at Circle K, but you got to have a special card to get that 339 price. And in uh, Eager, Arizona, they have a short stop or something there that the gasoline, they'll give you 10 cents off a gallon if you pay cash. So I'll just pay cash, big deal. So anyway, guys, well, let's let it go, Rusty. Let's get out. There's a Silver Spruce RV park. There's adult park, and it's they got a vacancy. I can't show It's It's a crowded park, I'll tell you that. I imagine all of them are, because this would be what you would call high season. But we're just moving along here like I know where I'm going. I'm going to get over in the slow lane and go slow. There we go. Yeah, all that clutter in your way there, you can't really see much. But if I hold it up higher, I get a cramp in my arm. 
So we're going 33 and a 35, so we're cool. I mean, we run, we've run every red light, but we're, we're, doing it, we're doing it at the speed limit. So that counts 50% off. You get a 50% discount on your fine if you weren't speeding when you went through the red light. A lot of RV parts, huh? Yeah, this is all city here, man. But this is that, well, it's like a suburb of Sholo, Arizona tourist information. We got a quilt show August 8th and 9th. Looks like an Ace Hardware up here. Yeah, this is just like, this is all like part of Sholo. Pine Top Brewing Company. Why do I read the signs? I don't know. I feel like y'all might want to know. There's a huge Safeway off to the left and a Starbucks. This is the intersection of Jaeger Lane and White Mountain Boulevard, if you want to know where the Safeway is. And there's also a McDonald's, Family Dollar, and all kinds of stuff. You right over here? Okay, as soon, I, well, I was, as soon as we get out of town, you know, this thing may go on for two days. Snowbird and ski rental. Interesting. You know, this looks like a pretty prosperous uh, area. You know what I mean? There's nice homes. Uh, yeah, there's there's another one that says cabins and Whispering Pines Resort. If it says resort, again, get your wallet out. I was thinking this way would have less traffic than going back the other way. Well, I would say that I was definitely off on that one. Yeah, this is, it might as well be in, well, it's not as crowded as Austin, Texas, or San Antonio, or Dallas, but there's still a lot of traffic heading this direction. But I got all my groceries, got my cold stuff in the refrigerator so I can take my time and somewhere along the way if I get hungry I'm sure I'll find a place to eat but at that casino I may go in that Honda or whatever it's called casino it's about midway on the way back and I may go get a snack my hand was reaching out for a donut and I slapped it That was at Walmart. Well, now regular unleaded is three sixty-five a gallon. How about that? They don't have anybody at their gas pumps either. Double B Lodge. Man, I'm telling you, I, I didn't. I would never have guessed that I would have had to drive through all this traffic to get out of here huh so what does that mean well it means that if i come back here before i leave i'll know what i'm getting into charlie clark's steakhouse i can't eat steaks anymore that's kind of off my menu why it's too hard to digest and if I don't chew it real good I choke on it 
And you'll find that happens when you get older. Things change. And all you have to do to enjoy growing older is what? Adapt. That's all. Not that hard. Chew your food. Chew your food. Chew it. Chew it. Chew it. Yeah. Chicken breast. Steak. Chew. 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 Well, we're kind of getting out of town now. This is east on Highway 260, and we'll see what we're going to go through here. The little Hyundai, th oh, the little the casino is only three miles. Eager is 42 miles. So if you stay at the uh, Casino RV Park, which is 7,000 feet in elevation, then you're only three miles from shopping in uh, Shola or whatever that other town was. Well, anyway, guys, I'll, I'll do another video when we get to the Hyundai thing. But anyway, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link, the generic link in the description. Enjoy your life the best way you can. And now you've seen the Sholo, Arizona area, sort of. But anyway, enjoy your life. Keep your health. Stay positive. Eliminate the negative. Bye-bye.